Hey, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Something Fishy. Today we are at the coast. It is New Year's Day and uh, hopefully we're going to catch some fish. Johnny's already been here for about 20 minutes. He says he caught a fish on his first cast, so hopefully he didn't jinx it. <laughs> All right, I'm about to throw a sandworm here on this uh, drop shot rig. All right, let's do this. First cast, let's see what happens. Johnny did, did say a seal came through, so that might have spooked all our fish for a little bit as well. Bite's supposed to be right about now, but tide is down. Um, so I'm trying to find some kind of evidence of bait or anything like that in the water. We do have some birds that are diving right here. Uh, so we're gonna try right here, I guess. Peregrine falcon! There's two peregrine falcons flying above right here. Very freaking cool. Two peregrine falcons. Oh, there they go. I should change the wide angle. Fastest bird in our, on earth right there. Dives like just about 100 miles an hour, I believe. Very cool. So no luck fishing. So I went up north to Jenner area and I am looking for some uni. And I came across this, uh, looks like a fish skull. It's got like a decent sized rock crab eating it and uh, a bunch of hermit crabs. I mean, hundreds of hermit, crab, hermit crabs, easy. Look at that rock crab just picking out. He's got some big old claws. I could harvest him, he's totally legal. I do not have a gauge on me though, so if I were to get stopped, I could be in trouble, so we're not gonna take that chance. There's some abalone, some red abalone it looks like. I mean, I don't really know my species of abalones, but there's a nice size one, like 10 inches or something like that. And a little guy right next to it that's about six, seven. Still looking for the uni. Where are you at? They might be just a little lower. Oh, there's another ab. Hello, Mr. Ab. How are you doing, mister? Look at that guy. Beautiful, look at that. You that guy right there. Hello. Hello, mister. Oh, there's a bunch in that hole. There's like four. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a bunch. I don't know how that guy's getting out. <laughs> it's like this one's too big to get in and the other ones are too big to get out. Unless there's another opening. Here's a really cool, like, different kind of starfish. It doesn't have long arms like the standard one we have, like, right here, <laughs> right next to it. Uh, there's, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pretty cool. Haven't seen that species before. I found maybe 20 abalone and a bunch of shattered shells. Still no uni. There's still about another half hour till the tide's all the way down, so. See, the uni get kind of caught off guard and they're out of the water. They don't really like to be out of the water, so. You gotta be, you gotta look for them under the standard tide of the current time. It's my guess. I mean, that's my logic. See if any fish got stuck in this thing. Some couple tide pools. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, 
some kind of little goby or something. Oh, there's another one. Oh, freaking cool. All right, let's see if I can show you these. Look at this guy. Like a white. And a black right there. I don't have a stick or something to kind of move it a bit. Oh, I found some urchin. <laughs> I found some by accident. <laughs> They're tiny though. All right. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. So yeah, here's some little urchins right here. There they are. Little guys. They're so tiny. All right. Let's see if we can find some bigger ones. Oh, this whole thing is full of them. Wow, look at that. Look at those urchins. Uh, can you even see them? They're purple. I don't know if you can actually see with the, the glare. This is all urchins. Oh, and some more of those goby things. Very cool. All right. So urchins, urchins, urchins. Let's try to find some decent ones. So this is the biggest one I can find. It's decent. It's not huge, but it's the biggest one I can find. Let's see. I actually don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Ba Boom, urchin. Cool. This is cool. It's my first one ever finding in the wild. Very cool. That's a good screenshot right there or a um, thumbnail. All right, I'm gonna try to collect a few more. I'll put that guy right there like that. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go walk around that side over there and see if there's any bigger ones. All right, let's try this uni. I don't know if I don't know if I can really get down to some fresh water to clean water to rinse it off. Uh, we'll see though. We'll, we'll give it a try. All right, bear with me here. This is my first time doing this. I don't have scissors. I think I can still pull it off though. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I see some meats or gonads. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at all that. Yummy, yummy. Look what I found in the tummy. Let's see. Let's see if I can break away a little more. And this is my first time doing this, so. A little, little new to me. Uh, how do I break up that gelatinous crap? Okay, I'm gonna go try to rinse it off over here in this tide pool. Not the best idea because uh, this water isn't the cleanest. Uh, I'm just trying to mash up some of the guts, get those out.
trying to leave the edible orange part. Getting there. We gotta remove all the the brown gut part. That part right there. kind of disrupt the membrane in there and it comes apart and you just rinse it i was gonna have kind of a bunch of it but i don't have any internet service and uh i don't recall if these are affected by red tide and i don't know if we have red tide right now i don't know i'm still kind of new to the ocean stuff like this like having to worry about red tide I think we're close enough to being edible. Just kind of just one more big chunk of that membrane in there. All right, let's try it. There's our uni. Beautiful orange meat. So we're gonna just try it here with our pocket knife. Oh, I guess you gotta see me doing it, right? In other words, I could just say I'm eating it. <laughs> we gotta do the, the taste, taste reaction and all that fun stuff, right? All right, let's do it, let's do it. I got a little bit of a beard going on here because the cold weather and riding a motorcycle don't mix. This will help me stay warm a little bit. All right, so we got our uni. Ooh, came right out. Let's try it. Salty. That tastes way better than in a sushi bar. <laughs> I like it. But again, I don't know about the whole red tide thing, so we may just have this one. I think a little spoon would be better. This knife really isn't doing the trick. I kind of like that flavor. It's different. Uh, <laughs> this is too, this is just falling apart. These are not very big, and from what I understand, these don't produce very much. I'm gonna go harvest a couple more. That's really good. Except for, you know, this is the biggest one I've found. <laughs> it's kind of small. Maybe we'll just call it quits for today with this and we'll get back to trying to fish. What I'm gonna do is uh, break open up one of these uh, mussels and put it on a hook and drop it down there and see if we can find something. Because everything likes mussels. Alright, so not a fail, you know, but not exactly the, the biggest outcome I was hoping for. But pretty cool though. 
really cool. I'm gonna come do it again, definitely. I'll have to do some reading about the red tide thing though. Well, thanks for joining me on another episode of Something Fishy. If you liked what you've seen, please like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, I'll catch you guys next time.